Yeah, my name is Obende Babatunde Simon. Honorable NX Abegbe, from the physical view, is a man you know, is transparent and trustworthy. He came, he told us, gave us his manifesto. And I have no doubt, from all that he has said, rhetorically I have X-ray him, is a man who I feel can salvage those states, sanitize those states, and build those states to the volume that every son and daughter of those states will appreciate. Like he had said in his manifesto, he was an accountant who had bagged so many degrees, who had undo so many projects, and he said it crystal clear that we should go out and verify. All the projects he had been given, he, he had not in any manner siphoned any money. And I believe that. To me, Honorable Enes Abebe is a man the cap fits. So I want to advise Akoko Edo and Edo State in general that we should look out for a man with credible mind, a man with a credible art, a man that has the arts of the art of people in his arts. And that man is Enes Abebe. It's a long awaited visit. I think it's worth it waiting for him though because today he has been able to display to us that he's a man of capacity, competence and credibility. So we are re really happy to have him here with us. My wish for him is my, a wish for myself. If I'm to be in the race, I wish myself success and a win. So I also wish him. Naivy Michael Match is my name. Thank you very much. My name is Buki Aifimi, Eje Uma Leader, Koko Edo. Nesakbebe is a leader candidate that is qualified to be in Osadebe Avenue. So he's a leader, which he will be there. By the grace of God, we pray for him that he will be there. Coming to Akoko Edo today, he's already achieved it in the name of Jesus. I'm Mrs. Patricia Kande. I don't know Senatorial Woman Leader Labour Party. Well, his visit was superb and uh, his speech was so impressing. All we pray that God Almighty will select the best for us because the words he spoke to us really show us that he has the human at, at heart. He has feeling for the people and he has the experience for development. So as a result, we are praying to God that as they have come, God Almighty will choose the best for us. That Osadebe Avenue, Labour Party will be the best that will sit on that seat in Jesus' name. And uh, we wish him all the best and we ask for God's wisdom upon him that as he move on, that God will guide him and guide all our as who have come. And God Almighty will give us unity to be able to select the best among all. My name is Ambassador Chris Igodaro, the Edo North Senatorial Leader. Well, uh, NS has always been uh, one of our great aspirants. In fact, he has made Edo North as like one of his own. Uh, today is one of his characteristics because he has come to see all the LGA. And he is coming, he fell at home, and uh, he has come to reassure himself that he's one of us. Good evening. My name is Vera Okaku, Esako Central Woman Leader, LG Woman Leader. Uh, the visit of Honorable Enes was a good visit. Was, uh, for me, I'm just seeing him for the first time. And I pray that whatever he needs, think in his mind that God will grant him the desire in mighty Jesus' name. And he should be a good governor. We pray to, for him to reach there, but to carry everybody along. That is my prayer for him. Comrade Godwin Fortune Osiga, Esako Central Youth Leader, AG. Uh, I want to say thank God for his coming. And uh, as other aspirants have been coming to Esako Central Local Government, and uh, we pray that in this uh, time, as God has brought in uh, Mr. Enes, and is, as he's aspiring to govern the Edo state, I pray God will grant him the power, the strength, and the wisdom to do so if the ticket is being given to him. Esukapa Benjamin is the name. It's really, Enes Abebe is a good man. As I said before, I always see him on a platform. 
the way his coordinator promote him at the speech he made just now i believe is the man who we supposed to support so you know i said it but i will never deviate from my what my leader said so but if you said me for my mind i will say i will vote for him but when my leader said this is where we go that's where we go but he's a nice man i love him i am honorable comrade saeed jibril a leader of Labour Party in this East local government. I, think, uh, I am quite impressed. We are all quite impressed by his disposition. He has clearly stated why he is in the race. And uh, from what he has said, he looks good to becoming the next governor of Edo State. Because everything the man says, he brings God first. So which means he does it, he's not a type who is carried away by what he thinks he has. So he believes God gives power. And to this extent, if he continues like this with what he has said, I think uh, the minds of very many persons who are here today are quite uh, at peace with him. We are all captivated by his peaceful disposition and uh, his atmosphere the people are quite happy with the way he has come very unassuming very unassuming display high level of uh, intelligence integrity and humor so we only wish and pray that that god who gives power will see him through to mount the the seat of power in a do state come next election uh, in September 20, September 2024. My name is Comrade Ernest Igbaseke from Etako East Local Government Chama Labour Party. Ernest Igbaseke visit to my local government is a very uh, good one because we have been expecting him since all those time. We have been seeing his uh, posters everywhere, but we were hoping to see him. But at, at least, as you can see, the atmosphere, I think my people are happy with him. My name is Captain Godwin Odige. Oh, it's a very fantastic something. We never expected a crowd like this that we saw. And the people are so kind, good people of uh, Esako East. We welcome them and they welcome us. Abegbe is a man that uh, he has the charismatics to pull the government. And that is why things will work well for all of us. Thank you. My name is Miss Elizabeth Ishetega, the AGA woman leader of Etako East local government. Rebo Ernest is a nice man. I know him last year when he visited us in Etak uh, Donuts. And uh, and Abegbe is a nice man, number two. When local government wants to do election, I called him and he assists the chairman. I called him by myself. He made him pick my call and respond to me that we do what I asked him to do. And I believe he do it. He's a nice man. My name is Daoud Inu Yunus, the General Secretary of Waten Itako West Local Government. Well, Honorable Ernest Agbegbe has been a man I've known for quite some time now because his coordinator make me up with him. So we we'll have countless of time, we've spoken, we've shared ideas together. What baffled me about the man is that when I read about his profile, I was so, so, so happy that why Edo State have not found such people, why Edo State have not found some learned men that have something to put on the table to solve the problems that are in Edo State. Why these men have not been found? Like he said now, because of some persons that came just for their personal interest, some that came just to come and loot, some that came just to come and make money just for themselves and their family. Like he said, he didn't come to do all that. He come with a strategy, with a portfolio 
that he wants to use to bring Edo State to this next level, sir. It's down to X. He has told us exactly what he can do. And since I talked with him on the phone every other day, I believe he can do what he has promised that he's going to do for us. I wish he gets the primary and also get the tickets. That's my wish for him. Yeah. I am Mrs. Izebekai Charity or Dion. I this I what I see is that he he spoke well because some some like the uh, something he gave to us. I've seen I've seen empowerment there, and I've seen him as an intelligent person. He, I, he he's he the needs of the people is, is is in his mind, and he knows what the people want. He is not somebody that is proud. He's not. He did not uh, hide his identity. If it were some people, they will not come out and say they do job before they go to school. So, if Ernest Honorable Combre, by by God's power, if he gets to to Sadebe Avenue. He will do better than other governors that were there before because he humbled himself. So that is it. My name is William Sushoma. He's a simple man. I love him very much. The way he spoke shows that uh, he's a transparent man. But then, all aspirants used to come to speak. But his own, the way he presented himself, is different from other aspirants. But then, power belongs to God. We are praying for him, that God should put him there, so that all he has said, he will be able to carry them out. It's not in our power. But then, we have delegates here, we don't know them yet. But I believe that the way he spoke, he's touched the mind of a lot of people. And I pray that he gets there so that we will benefit from all the promises he has made. My name is William Sushoma and uh, I'm the vice chairman of the Owenist LG of the Labour Party. You need Sonia Kode. Well, we thank God for today. We really appreciate his coming and I believe we will work for him what he requests we will grant his hard desire. Uh, comrade Ebenezer Ahonkai, the LGA leader on One West. Uh, for the aspirant that got to us today, in fact, we are praying to have a somebody that will change the government in Edo State. Come this year 2024. For him, he looks a very intelligent and a piece of whatever you call it. And we, we have said to him, if by his words he will maintain it, uh, glory be to him. I'm Elda Ademiri Waishola, Ward 4 Chairman, Labour Party. His visit is awesome, very awesome. He's one of the candidates that has won my heart among the candidates that are becoming. When he came in, I looked at him and he looked very, very real, very real. He looked himself, not pretending, not trying to be what he is not. And look at, when I look at his profile, even before he was speaking, I saw him to be one of the men that if all of us come together, give him the, the mandate or the flag of Labour Party in Edo State, I think Edo State has every cause to be happy at the end of the day.